We are live. Welcome back to the Mixed Worlds 2023 Lita Lanes Nash. You have Japal Grant, Greg Guya, Kevin Burns on Candle Promoting Network underway. Nick Freshy Zeffaletto from Salem, Mass, my hometown. Right to left, the 587. <coughs> Tina Ward on lane 33. The PC Enterprise, Harry's All Stars. PC Enterprise is on the right. This is going to be a battle here. One, two, four. <coughs> Freshly turning 31 next month. 114 league bowler. Highest year between 123 and 124. Has a high single of 200. High triple 474, high five 777. Spare bid denied with the eight. Tina Wood gets the four, leads up the one two. <coughs> Freshy right on for a 10, the gentleman shot. Don't hurt him. And Tina, 10 of her own. 170 and a high single for Tina Wood. High triple 447. High five, 657 on Boogie Lanes. <laughs> Family got her involved in bowling. Too many accomplishments to list, she said. Enjoys horseshoes and fishing. Girl, let's go over the format for our viewers here. That's right, 24 teams in a 23 match round robin across this entire weekend, starting from yesterday, Friday, into Sunday. And it's two points for, two match points for a win, one for a tie. And simple as that, that determines the standings at the end of the round robin. The only possible playoffs would be a one string roll off if first place specifically is tied. Like last year, Penny Lane and Coca Cola are on Candle Bowling Network, fresh the Star Trek character, seven of nine. <clears throat> you okay. Fresh, a good bid. Freshy picks it up for a 10. Two tens to start. Tina Ward, the 1 9, gets a 9, 19 through 2. Early one pin lead for PC Enterprises. Sonia Rossi next. S O N J A. Yeah, good pinning to start. And a terrific bowler from Stars and Strikes, South Paris, Maine. Young 19 year old Cassidy McClendon, who won the Rust Nearly 33rd annual overnight tournament in honor of Rust Nearly Senior. In the Kenilworth Hall of Fame, still alive. Russ Jr. wanted to honor him while he's still alive. 34th annual coming up July 30th, scheduled for South Paris, Maine. A quarter Worcester, yikes. For Sonia. Cassie, runner up in the New Hampshire State's APH eliminations and the Maine State Opens. That's the two and five. Sonia, 147. Cassie Spare. Nice smooth ball. 107, her best year right now on average. Sonia doinks it for a seven. Cassie, 150 high single, high triple 386, high five 600, high 10, 11, 29. Every time I cover her, her stats go higher and higher. <laughs> Twenty-nine, twenty-seven. Early two-pin lead for Harry's All Stars plus a spare. Right now from Cassidy McClendon, the only mark on the board. Sonia Rossi from Rutland, Massachusetts. Birthday coming up next month. Cassie's fill is six, sixteen through one. Four left, three, six, ten to the right. Sonia just missed left. Cassidy off the wall leads up the four and the ten. Sonia's high single 175, high triple 435, high five 670 out of Bayberry Bowling Center, Spencer, Massachusetts. Both get a nine. Cassie 25 through two. Sonia Rossi 16 through two. Eight pin lead early for Harry's All Stars. The captain of the team, Steve Reno Sr., in the Canopin Hall of Fame this year with Bob Wickham and Al Johnson and others. Hall of Fame class. October 21st, 
at the Castleton in Wyndham, New Hampshire. Tickets go on sale July 1st. Mario T. Johnson on lane 34. Four from right, the one, three, six, ten. Jonathan Boudreau drills eight. Two bowls, top of the games, side by side. Three, five for Boudreau. Johnson for a spare, looks good, got it. 10 of the ball to start this one string match, Boudreau a spare. John was so dumb as a junior, kids would find out their bowling Jonathan Boudreau and they wanted to go home. He just was a force in his youth. He has a 200 for a high single, 117 average now, 131 his best year average wise. Both on spares, Johnson on the nose, spread eagle, ouch. 14 through one, Jonathan, he takes down eight, the two and the 10, 18 through one. Early 12 pin lead for Harry's All-Stars on the left. Mario trying to kick it over, gets out one. Oh, what a try with Boudreau, wouldn't go. High triple of 491 with a 147, 176, 168. Jonathan Madrow, a beast, originally from Lynn, Massachusetts, now in East Boston, Mass. Works at Central Park Lanes, East Boston, Mass. With Chuck Pozzolo, the owner. Mario an eight, Jonathan a nine. Mario 22, Jonathan 27 through two. Greg, this is gonna be a war. Yeah, this is fun for sure. Already 10 extra bonus pins for Harry's All-Stars and a three pin pinning advantage. That 10 and three makes 13, of course. That's how you can express any candlepin bowling score. The difference in bonuses plus uh, the gains in pinning. Steve Reno Jr. in the Hall of, senior in the Hall of Fame. Steve Reno, Harry Reno, late Harry Reno in the Hall of Fame going in this October. Here's the son and grandson now of Harry's, Steve Reno Jr. He drills down nine. Boy, he throws the ball about 45 miles an hour or so. Four pin for a spare. Eric Pelletier, son of Norm Pelletier. Four down, six to go. Great try, missed the five. Eric from Peabody, Mass. Spare for Reno Jr. That guy puts a lot of strike, spare, strike combination. I covered in the Atlanta Kendallman singles tour last year in the Friday Night Pro League. He put a bunch together. Eric with the five pin standing. Takes a nine. Early 14 pin lead for Harry's All-Stars. Eric, 120 league ball has a high single of 193. He's done it twice. And he drills down nine. Six pin a little shimmy, won't go. Reno off to the right, takes down six. Maybe seven, it's six. One. Two, four, and the eight behind the two. 16 through one. Match five of 10. Six more tomorrow, it's done at nine o'clock on Candlepin Bowling Network. Pelletier right on his spare. 19 of the ball through two. Reno just missed the head pin. Thank goodness this match is likely to fly by. I could use some shooter's pub food. <laughs> you have to use Kegler's den here. Okay, listen. Oh, shooters probably next to New Hampshire. We'll be there July 9th. Shame on Ladies me. Ladies for cancer. That's okay. It's all in the Kennelfin community anyway. I suppose. It's I 26 through two. Yeah, you need some food. And especially after Kegelis, I had a great breakfast sandwich as well, you know? And one of the best bowls in Canada, Matt Harnett with two T's. 123 average, 132 his best year. Average wise strike. 10 plus two to stop this one string match. John Winch out of shoot his pub extra lanes. That's why you're thinking shoot his pub. That's a great place to eat too. And the bowl, 178. John 
Sean from Brentwood, New Hampshire, gets a nine. He has, speaking of two uh, high singles, like 193 for Eric Pelletier twice, John has two, not, two 190s for his high single. Has a high triple of 467 and a high 10 of 744. He starts off with a nine. 19 pin lead for his team, Harry's All-Stars, on lane 33. Matt Harnett working on a strike. Five matches to go up to this. Six tomorrow, wrap it up. Harnett with a double, bang! Double strike, wow, what a start! 30 plus bonus balls. We've seen two four baggers so far in this tournament. Kevin Granton from Canada, Nick Leach here, Nick, Nashua. Halfway there is Matt Harnett from Halifax, Nova Scotia, Canada. John Winchell, three left up, the three, five, the nine behind the three. Great shot, the wall just oh. sails by the nine. Tough break. John gets a nine, two nines to start. Matt Hunter, a big double strike, Phil, when he comes up next. Back to the top of the order. Paul Grant, Greg Guya, Kevin Burns on Kenneth Mo Network. Match five of 10, 2023 Mixed Worlds Tournament. Lena Lanes, Nashville, New Hampshire. Wow, Greg. Hold on to your seats here. Wow, indeed. A perfect start for Matt Harnett. Three marks to de facto five, if you count the double strike twice. So three to five. And that's why PC Enterprises is likely to take an advantage when all said and done. Close on pinning. It's going to be a mark shootout, I have a feeling. Tina Ward on the right. Takes down four. 19 through two coming. Fresh sheet. Nick Zeffaletto has two tens to start. Tina just missed the head pin, leaves up five. All right, here comes more incomplete knowledge. Tina Ward was in at least an ACSC finals. Did she not win that though? I'm fairly sure. Not listed. Is Michelle Ward also and Jenna Ward? Well, it's definitely Tina in that. We'll figure it out. She has too many accomplishments to list, she said. <laughs> All right, Zeffalotto a 10, Tina Ward a six. Zeffalotto pin perfect through three. 30 and 25 respectively, three tens for Freshy. Four pin lead for Harry's All-Stars, but no marks for them. A spare and a double strike. Okay. For PC Enterprises. Oh, Tough split, five seven for Tina Ward. Freshy one three seven, and the nine. Sorry, I can see it slightly better from here. I can't. Yeah, I couldn't see it. Thank you. Tina Wood picks up one, leads up the seven. Nick leads up the one and seven. Tina Wood passes by the seven for a nine. 34 through four. Nick Zeffrey always pulling the shorts. He went 40 below zero with the wind chill. Nine blocks, 39 through four. He's the captain of the team of PC Enterprises. They trail by four, but they got marks on their side. Now it's a second bowl of Sonia Ross, a terrific bowler on the left. Some people can't not bowl in bowling shorts, you know? It's just a matter of comfort. Though I actually, uh, don't like wearing shorts, so you know, I'm the opposite. And the world stays in orbit. Cassie McClendon, nice 19 young bowler. Two, one split, three, four, seven. Sonia Rossi, eight, two, four. Spare chance, would to help. Cassie, 25 for first two. Sonia, 16 at first two. And Cassie, right in the middle. Cass uh, Sonia, spare off the wall. <laughs> Sonia Rossi, a first mark. 26 the ball through three. McClendon, uh, eight box, 33 through three. Live coverage all weekend long, including tomorrow's six string finals. 
six string regular matches, overtime if two teams tie, wouldn't that be something? It's like three or four tied. Nine o'clock start tomorrow morning on Canada from Bowling Network on YouTube and some on Facebook. Cassie chops out three. Bonus time for Sonia Rossi. It's six, one, seven, eight, nine on the spare, 32 through three. That gives PC Enterprise lead by four. Get over tack. Yes. And Cash McClendon gets the spare. I couldn't see, Greg. We got an obstructed view here. Sonia gets a nine. So Cassidy, 43 in a ball through four. Second mark. Sonia, 41 through four. And two Trey Bowlers side by side. Jonathan Boudreaux on the right. Mario Johnson on the left. This could be a fun match. Three pin lead for PC Enterprises. Already is. And the ankle ball of Matt Harnett on a double strike. Eric Pelletier, the fourth ball on a spare after Mario Johnson. The lefty. One, two, seven, nine, 10. 27 is first two. Mario, 22, the first two. She's on the head pin. She has the four left, six, 10 right. Would draw a good bid. All but the seven, almost got that one. Yeah, that cap missed the seven only narrowly. Just didn't have enough steam somehow. All right, try to kick it over. Good bid. Thank you so much. We said Jonathan is a high single 200, high triple 491. His high five is 746. He gets a 10, Mario gets a nine. Mario 31 through three, Jonathan 37 through three. Jonathan's high 10, 1435, high 20, 2631. From the 2016 World Team Tournament with Lucky Strike. He has the 147. He had a 684 in Al Johnson's Canelfence for Cancel qualifying round last season and was number one seed. Won numerous Friday night regular season titles since 2012. Also has six pro titles in Boldia twice and a runner up twice. COVID slowed him down, didn't ball as much, trying to get back to his game and getting back to his old self. And he is still, I believe, just 27 still. Deadwood is out of play. That's why Eric Pelletier has gone out to collect it. If it's over that line, two feet in front of the head pin, it has to be removed, or touching it even. Mario Johnson, 45 years young. From Exeter, New Hampshire, originally Barrington, New Hampshire. Boudreaux. He gets one. Mario trying to spin it over. In the channel, no good, minus one. Jonathan gets the 10, all the gain here. 47 through four. Mario missed right again, that'll be a six. 37 through four. Two pin lead for Harry's All-Stars, but no marks on this side. A spare from Eric Pelletier now for PC Enterprises on the left. A double strike from Matt Harnett after him. Basically still that two mark advantage for PC Enterprises. Eric, a dangerous bowler also. Steve Reno Jr., one, two, four, 10. 26 through two, Pelletier on the bonus. Five, 30, 20. correction, 24 through two. Head pin it, just barely hit it. Reno Jr. open, two, four, 10. Pelletier, one, two, nine. Her mother, Kim Pelletier, just got married to Sean Baker. Son of Norm Pelletier, nice guy too. And Reno gets a nine, 35 through three in this one string match. Eric gets a nine to match, 33 through three. And lead is three for PC Enterprises. The only mark of the board is a double strike for Matt Harnett next. I believe. Oh, no, no, Cassidy McClendon's hey, uh, Cassidy McClendon's a spare too. Thank you, Greg, for the correction. Yep. Hard to see a scoreboard back here. Yeah. Yeah, 
Cassidy's off to a good start. Two spares. Reno right Ooh. down the middle. Four two split. Eric Washburn puts the seven. I call it a post. Steve Reno Jr. High single 191, a 124 league bowler. High triple 464. High five 724. From Revere Mass his whole life. Holy smokes, what a cut that was. Out of Central Park Lake East Boston Mass. Both balls don't get marks. Steve's high 10, 1352. High 20, 2453. Gets a nine. What are you doing? 44 through four. Eric Pelletier drills it for a 10, 43 through four. All eyes on Matt Harnett. On lane 33, he's on a double strike to start the string. His team is down four right now, but he's on 30 plus two bonus balls. Going for the turkey, the triple strike. And John Winchell on the right. John won five consecutive money matches with Brian Fuller Jr. at Extra Lane Shooters Pub. Each splitting $2,500 from 2021 to 2022. Two times the Atlantic Candlepin Singles Tour Championship match. He won one and lost one to Sean T Taylor. He saw the match over the 96 half and lost to Sean Taylor. His sons Cody and Lucas are bowling. Candlepin bowling also. Winchell, quarter whist, yikes the two. Here's the double strike, Phil. Matt Harnett for triple nine. 29 through one, 39 the ball through two. Jack Berrigan earlier today had a double strike nine to win a match. The last box, Bunch leads up the seven eight. High piece of wood for a spare double strike. Got it. What a start. 39, 49 through two, 59 the ball through three. Wow. It's got to be the bunt. <laughs> the, lead, the lead continues to mount. It's one mark unfilled on each side, now one spare each side. So Matt Harnett's double strike super duper significant and puts his team ahead by a couple dozen. Matt balls out of Heather Lanes in lower Sackville. 189 high single, high triple 492 from Halifax, Nova Scotia, Canada. He's a May birthday baby. Winchell, half was to right, the 3 9. Harnett on the bonus, 9. Two strikes to start, 2 9 drops back to back. 68 through 3. Winchell oh, open, Harnett, another spare. Two 9 drop spares in a row. 78 in the ball through four, wow. Please share this match to your friends up in Canada, all across digital platforms. Matt Harnett on fire. Winchell just turned that four into nine. We'll put a pin in that, that might matter later. Good out. So John 37 through four. And thanks to double strike and two spares in a row, Matt Harnett perfect, gives his team a 33 pin lead. Well, we know the star of the first half of this match was. Let's see what happens down the stretch. One spare for each side. Paul Grant Garguya on Canopin Bowling Network. Your home for all things Canopin Bowling. 24 seven video views. Canopin Bowling Network, free on YouTube. No credit card required. Freshy drops down nine as we go back to the top of the order. Tina Ward gets nine. She's looking at the two. Freshy's looking at the five. Tina Ward has also been on classic candle pins, as I recall. But she missed it left. The old show out of Riverwalk Lanes. Tina taking advantage of hers, spare. 44 and a ball through five, they need that mark. It's the Matt Harnett show in this match. Freshie, a Paul Grant special, missed the second, make the third, never a good time for that. 10, 49 half.
248, 215, 33 pin lead for PC Enterprises on the right. Freshy, seven, 247. Tina Ward on the extra session, four, 48 half. Make it five, and the pin fell, so 49 half. Fifty-one percent pro rate for two and three pinners without wood for pro bowlers. Stats by Caleb Promoting Network. He gets it. Fifty-one point one now. Fifty-nine of the ball through six. Ward looking at the one and the two. Going for a ten. Trying to get the fifty-nine through six. And she gets one for a nine. So fifty-eight through six. Lead is twenty-nine for PC Enterprises. They have two spares to one advantage also. <laughs> Sonia Rossi on the right, Cassidy McClendon out of Stars and Strikes, South Paris, Maine on the left. Bayberry Bowling Center, Spencer Mass, bowler Sonia Rossi, Spread Eagle. Cassidy, a lemon drop. One doll, but Caleb for cancer. Three two split for Sonia Cassidy. Has a check mark. Five left, three six ten right. Scoring error ahead, Boudreaux at 46 through four. Stephen Al Hafley puts a dollar in for Cash McClendon. It wasn't on the mark, but it cost him $5. Every dollar helps. The lemon drop pool, Craig, explain that to our viewers after this box. Uh, just a second. Okay. I'm sorry. I would love to, though. So Cassidy, 53 half. Sonia Rossi, 51 half. 30 pin lead for PC. So the lemon drop pool, all in support of Candlepins for Cancer and the families uh, in the Candlepin bowling community they support. $1 optional donation for hitting the four pin or the six pin alone on the first Which ball. Which is the second pin of your left, second pin of your right. That's right. And five on a mark. Five dollars on a mark, also optionally. Uh, but remember, all this money goes towards a great cause. Over 35,000 it is now, given to families uh, who use the, could use the financial aid. Great spare, McClendon. Thirty-five thousand paid out so far on climbing. Yeah, and the families, uh, when they get those checks, it just brings a smile to their face. Al Johnson would be happy to tell One you that. One team in saying thank me personally, and that's just a good feeling when that you make, you know, when people are donating. It's all the bowlers helping other bowlers. Canop and Bowlers helping Canop and Bowlers going through cancer treatments. Cats McClendon spare sixty-three in a ball through six. Sonia Rossi sixty through six. You can donate online. Canop for cancer. Buy a Vemo or go to Canopins number four cancer.com. Follow the links to Vemo. Canopin Bowl is helping Canopin Bowl is going through cancer treatments, a 501c3 charity. Please donate any amount. Will help families, almost six families now, supporting the lemon drop pool. Five officially, 11 on the wow shirts alone. Mario Johnson, 37 through four. Jonathan Boudreau, 46 through four. Mario drops down nine. Jonathan, 5 2 split. Mario staring down at the seven. Right on it. 47 out plus one. Her high single is 192, high triple 439, high five 701, high 10 1301. Jonathan, nice ball on the object. He's got the 2-8 half Worcester. Wood in between to help get a 10 box. Mario, 1997 Rookie of the Year, 2005 Massachusetts State team record of 1869. As Jonathan gets a 10, 56 half. And if we have time, we can list some of Mario's accomplishments. We may not have enough time, but it's pretty lengthy. 2011 ICBA championship winner. Three-time Lady Team World Titles, five-time Ladies International Team wins. And there might be more that has happened since then. Five-time Mixed World Team Titles, going for six now. One for the last two years with Penny Lane. Two-time Nico Championship winner, that's New England Knockout. Multiple New Hampshire State Massachusetts titles, Can-Am title in 2022, and the previous Can-Am runner-up. Oh, big mix. And she was the junior ICBA record holder of all events 15-15. Eight on a spare, 55 half. Jonathan, five, seven, tough split. Uh, 
Back to back spares. 65 and a ball through six. Jonathan, good bid, leads up to seven. And Jonathan Boudreau, I, just said, I couldn't see that shot. What's that, 10 p.m. or 9? Uh, 10 p.m. Okay, I couldn't see it. Thank you. 56 half for Jonathan Boudreau. Updating the score on the marks from Greg Gouillard. Uh, 66 uh, through 6 for and 65 in ball for Mario Johnson. Let's just take a quick peek. It's three marks to one right now. PC Enterprise is definitely running away with it at the current moment. Eric Pelletier, 43 through four. Steve Reno Jr., 43, 44 through four. Both fireballers. One string match. Fifth match of the day of 10 strings. Six tomorrow start at nine o'clock live. Give or take a few minutes on Kenneth Moling Network. Wobbly Drew Steele on the other call. Two there for Eric. Reno Jr. half was to right, the three and nine. He called it, he got it. Eric leaves up seven with the ball to go. Reno leads up to 6 10. Eric, nice out, nine out of that mess. Reno gets a 10. All right, Greg, back on the score cam. Thank you, Greg. Trying to get his food in between. <laughs> Not much time to eat here. Late lunch for me tonight, about midnight tonight at 1 o'clock. 7, 9, 10. Interesting wood to work with. 52, 54, respectively. Pelletier, 52, Reno, 54 half. And he gets a strike. 64 plus 2 through 6. He has TNT in his ball. Eric getting advice. How to play the shot. What a try, just missed the seven. Stay tuned for the Matt Harnett Show next. A double strike, a nine drop, a spare. Another nine drop and a spare. Pelletier 10, 62 through six. 36 pin lead for PC Enterprises. The marks are two to one in favor of Harry's All-Stars. A two, two act, three, two, my mistake, three, two. The favorite PC Enterprise, three spares for them, one spare, one strike for Aries All-Stars. And the main reason why is Matt Harnett from Canada. His Canadian team leading by 36. 78 in the ball through four. Crossing over, five, six, the check mark. Three, six, 10 right, five to the left. 84 through four. John Winchell for a strike, almost. Clean shot of the 10. Arnett open, he's human after all. What is wrong with him? He didn't get a mark. Double strike, two spare nines. Winchell, right on his spare. His first mark, 47 half, plus one. Harry's All-Stars needs to get some marks. Grant Harnett, nine, 93 half, amazing. That's a 186 clip. 195, 194 is the high we know so far. Nick Leach ended that string with four, uh, four strikes in a row. <laughs> Kevin Gratton from Canada got a four bag yesterday to start things off. Harnett, four horsemen plus the nine. John Winchell on the spare. On the nose, nine. A wobbling six holds up. Two nine drops in a row. 
56 half. Leads down to 32. Harnett, 247. John for two in a row. Bang! 66 in the ball through six. Three thirty nine, three seventeen. Lead us down to twenty two. Thirty one. Update now three forty eight, three seventeen. Three marks to two now, Fabian Harry's All Stars. We go back to the top of the order. Match five of ten. Second day of three, nine o'clock. Final six rounds on Kenneth and Boeing Network. Tina Ward. One, six, 10. 58 at first six, Nick Cefaletto. Nick Cefaletto, 59 of the ball. He takes down seven, two, eight, sorry, three, nine, 10. Three, nine, 10. On the spare, 66 through six. Tina can't convert. Tina enjoys horseshoes and fishing. Her time off. Nick just missed the optic pin. And Tina will settle for a nine. 67 through seven. Nick Bones is eight years old. Gets a 10. 76 through seven. His team, PC Enterprises, has the lead. By 39. Nick won New Hampshire State title, four Pro Series wins, four Massachusetts State titles. Four Pro Series includes a 2023 random three man team draw with Jeff Walsh, the Bulldozer, and Sean Baker, three overall three man team person, team pro titles as well. Including a singles knockout at Union Street Lanes in Holbrook, Mass. Looks up to Bob Wickham and Craig Holbrook, two Hall of Famers. Bob Wickham will be in, inducted October 21st officially. Back to live action. Freshy leads up the two and the 10 to 10 goals. Tina Ward gets the 10, 77 through eight. Freshie doinks it for a nine. 85 through eight. This team up 38. Three marks to one though for Harry's All-Stars. Trying to make a late charge. Plenty of time left. Cash McClendon on the right. Sonia Rossi on the left. Cassidy on a spare, 63 in the ball. Sonia 60 through six. Cassidy goes left, gets seven, maybe eight, make it eight. Eight it is, one and three. On the spare, 71 through six for the 19 year older. For another one, missed it left. Sonia looking at the five and the eight, but missed left. Cassie McClendon, nine, 80 through seven, 10 for Sonia Rossi, 70 through seven. Can Harry's All-Stars come back and take it? They're down 31 right now, two marks to one in their favor. Cash McClendon, almost a strike, eight pin left up, Sonia Rossi, 2016 Ladies International Team Championship. On the head pin, 2-5-7-10. 2019 New Hampshire State Doubles Championship winner. 2019 New Hampshire State Team Championship. 2013 Mass State Mixed Doubles Championship. And 2012 Mass State Singles Championship winner. Cassie, another mark. A fine string, 90 in a ball through eight.
Sonia, seven, 77 through eight. And now it's three marks to one. Or is it four to one? Uh, three to one. Three to one. First Harry's All Stars. They're down 28. Two good fills, cut it into the teens. Jonathan Boudreau, Mario Johnson. Jonathan for strike. Oh, that five leaned right, but holds up. Try to go into the nine. Mario on the head pin, six, seven, eight, six, ten right. Mario on a spare, 71 through six. And she got seven, actually. Another pin fell. Yep. So 72 through six. Now it's the eight, six, six, ten right. Boudreau a spare. 76 in the ball through seven. Mario won't go, has the eight and ten. She'll get an eight. 80 through seven. Jonathan looking for a hammer here. This team taking it, making a charge, trying to come back. They got marks on their side, but they need big fills and more to catch up and take this two points. In the pocket, eight, nine. Seven pin left up, spread eagle plus the nine. Mario, 85 through seven. Leads down to 24. PC Enterprise is in the lead for another one. Right on it, spare. 95 and a ball through eight. Mario, what a try, the object. 4-1 split though. Try to go three into four. You got two. And nice out, she'll take an eight. 88 through eight. The lead is 22. Uh, yeah, no, marks. No, marks for PC. no marks for PC Enterprises. Four, Four marks for Harry's All-Stars. Yes. Three spares and a strike. Yes. They're in striking distance. Yeah, uh, Jonathan Boudreau only one pin left standing. Arnett only two, Pelletier only three on the other side. Reno Jr. only two and Winchell only three. Reno working a strike, it's eight, a generous lead, the one and the two. Eric Pelletier, nine. Four pin for a spare. 62 through six coming in. Reno 64 plus two. Oh, I thought he had it. Nine of the strikes, 73 through six. That would have helped. Pelletier, spare. 72 to ball through seven. Another fantastic finish, Greg, looks like. Reno, nine, 82 through seven. Do they have enough in the tank to get back and win this? The lead is 14. Yes, they do. The mark advantage is there. Three marks to one and they're down 14. We're Harry's down 33 or so at one point. Yep, Harry's absolutely is getting the momentum here. Mark from McClendon, two marks from Boudreau. It's stacking up. Winchell, that's one to play. Reno drills a strike. 92 plus two through eight, wow. <laughs> Pelletier, reverse triangle, left to right, five, nine, six. On the spear, 79 through seven. Eric takes his time, looks at the wood. Wood might be too far back. He might try to twirl around on the left side of that wood or he may go right. We'll see how he plays it. Yeah, that red line does not cover, absolutely. You have to go far left, I would think. He goes right and in between the wow. six and nine. That's a bad wow. I would go left, but who, who am I? You know, I, I was a regular league bowler for years, semi-pro at best. Pretty good crack at it. One time my best year average, 10 for Pelletier. 89 through eight, 12 boxes to go. The lead is 21 for PC Enterprises. For Matt Hennett for a double strike and two spare nines. He's at 102 through six. John Winchell on a spare. 66 in the ball through six. And cut it into the teens. On the nose, nine. A little shimmy on the four. The six 75 six. through six. 
Harnett floating with a third strike to seven, three, six, ten. Mitchell's four, six pin got paralyzed, went this way and that. Reese down to 12 for another one. Bang! Harnett, big chance to build and respond. Uh, Mitchell, yes. 85 and a ball through seven, three in a row. After a slow start, the veteran bowler comes through. Harnett picks up the two for a 10. 112 through seven, having a fine string. That's so John Winchell and his resilience. He goes up against the guy who pulls out of his absolute mind for the first four frames, and then just hangs in there, and the moment he stops marking, literally, that's when Winchell starts marking. Now he can cut the single digits on the spare fill on lane 34, Lita Lanes, Nash, New Hampshire, the 2023 20, Mixed World Tournament. Oh, look at this, the picket fence, the seven. Eight, nine, ten, are you kidding me? Middlewood is interesting. 91 through seven, Wood could help. Matt Harnett takes down nine. Third nine, drop of the string. Clean shot of the 10. Trying to stop the bleed and lead us six. Seven pin's probably the tough one. Can this go? Oh, what a try. 10 pin weebles and wobbles, we won't fall down. Seven left. Harnett, right on it, spare. Fifth mark of the string. 122 in the ball in the eighth. Amazing. Pick your favorite pin here, John. He grazes the seven for a nine. 100 through eight. The lead is seven for PC Enterprises. Three marks to one for Harry's All-Stars. They have the virtual lead. They were down over 30 pins. Well, I'll keep you all apprised of the mark situation as frequently as possible, but here's our first look at it. <clears throat> Three marks to one for Harry's All-Stars, so they are now the favorites to take the lead, especially with the extra strike by Steve Reno Jr. Is, uh, providing extra assurance. And back to the top of the order, back to the top of the order, a final 10 boxes of match five of 10. 12 overall, halfway point plus, 23 matches, 24 teams. Nine o'clock tomorrow starts first of six. Seth Leto, three, six, four left, Tina Ward, Center Diamond plus the 10. Tina 77, Freshie 85 through eight coming in. Freshie chops out one, three in the four, three left, four, three right, four left. Tina Wood gets a big spare. And Harry's also has turned this around. 87 the ball through nine, down over 33 pins. They got the virtual lead. Four marks to one in their favor. Yeah. Freshy gets an eight. PC Enterprises is so capable of turning the tides back, but it's a matter of time at the current moment before the plus sign moves to the other side. Freshy 93 through nine, the lead is down to five. A six fill for the lead for Tina Ward. No lead is safe, this type of caliber bowling, any of these teams. You look at these rosters, like I said many times, how, how can some of these teams lose? They're so talented. Freshy, three, one split, six right, two, four, seven left. Tina Wood for the potential lead. Oh, you can be kidding me, a spread eagle, four fill. The lead's down to one for PC Enterprises. Three marks to one for Harry's All-Stars. Freshy, tough split. Object pin won't carry. Tina, three, six, 10, four left. Freshy, six right, four left. Oh, nice try for a 10, gets a nine. 102 string. Tina Wood, a seven, 98 string. The lead is three for PCN. Is it three? Yep, three. 478, 475. PC Enterprises has squandered a 33 or so pin lead. And it's two spares, one strike for Harry's All Stars, one spare for PC Enterprises. And Cash McClendon, a fourth fill to take the lead. 90 in a ball. Sonia, 77 through 8. Sonia, big time bowler, seven for the lead. They got it. 
Cassidy, 1 6 9, 7 in the field. They take the lead. 97 through 8. They're up by 4. A 37 or so pin turnaround in this one string match. Rossi in the middle. McClendon leads up the one in the six. Thrilling finish here at Lita Lanes, National New Hampshire. And Sonny, the tough Paul Grant special, missed the second, make the third for a 10. 87 through nine. Cassidy matches the 10. 107 through nine. She has been great out of Stars and Strikes, South Paris, Maine. Four pin lead for Harry's All-Stars. Two marks to one in their favor. Sonia, one, two. Yep, significant break. And a clip wing eagle, that's a spread eagle minus a corner pin for Cassidy. The advantage, Sonia Rossi. Trying to give her team the lead, back. She missed it left. Oh, the wood twirled around, just missed the head pin. Cassidy hits the object pin. 10 right corner, two, four left. Sonia, nine. 96 string, Cassidy McClendon, eight. 115 string. Harry's All-Stars has to lead by three pins. Jonathan Madrilla add to it on a spare, 95 on a ball. Mario Johnson, 88 through eight. One of the top female bowls in the game today, still only four. John's Boudreau in the bonus, five, one, two, eight, right side, six, 10, 100 through eight. The lead is eight for Harry's All-Stars on the left. A 41 plus pin turnaround or so, give or take a couple. Jonathan, oh, what a try, just missed the 10. Mario, big out, only a seven. What a turnaround this match. 95 through nine. Jonathan, a nine. 109 through nine. Five boxes to go. The lead is 10 for Harry's All-Stars. Steve Reed on a strike next. Matt Harnett, the anchor bowler for PC. Has a spare in the, coming up next, 122 in a ball. He's been mas masterful. Plus. Mario looking for a mark. Half Worcester, ouch, the two and the eight. See why I hate that shot? 20% conversion rate. Jonathan breaks up the eagle. Two left, three, six, 10 right. And the wood rolls away. Mario Johnson. One, nine. Boudreau, oh, what a try again. So close in every shot. Two close ones, he almost pulled off. Mario gets to 10, 105 string. Jonathan Boudreau at 10. A 190, which <laughs> felt like a 140 or so. A 150, the way he's throwing that ball. But more importantly, his team is up by 10. Four blocks to go, and Steve Reno Jr. on a strike. Spread eagle for Eric Pelletier. 89 through eight, Steve Reno on a strike for two. Give it a ride, five, seven. Wood spinning and whirling and twirling. Angled in front. Possible the bottom part of it. Is Eric chops out the four. Possible the bottom part is lined up. Let's see, he'll probably go very low. 
Reno, good try. Nine to strike. Big 19 blocks. 101 through eight. I hit actually. Felita's 19. Pelotera seven. 96 through nine. Reno gains three with a 10. 111 through nine. A 22 pin lead. A 55 plus pin turnaround or so in this one string match. Mixed World Tournament at Lita Lane's Dash, New Hampshire on Candle from Bowling Network. Please share this match with your friends and family. Pelletier looking for Mark of the 10th. Eight pin wobbles, holds up two in front, seven left. Reno Jr. Oh, five, seven. Better wood this time. Matt Harnett might need a double strike like he did to stop the first two blocks of the string. Eric, good try. He's up to seven. We know for a spare. Oh. Eric nine takes a 105 string. Reno trying to get to 121 with a seven pin. Gets the 10, 121. Great feeling for Steve Reno Sr. and Harry Reno going to the Hall of Fame together. It's about time. 23 pin lead, two boxes to go. Matt Har Harnett on a big spare. He had a double strike and two spare nines to start. It was like 80 through four, what do you have, like 80 through four, something like that, it's crazy. First strike. That's okay. Four in the nine. 130 through eight. The lead is 15. Harry's All-Stars. Winchell, tough leaf. Oh, the five goes, the four goes, the seven does not. Met shaking in his boots. Matt needs a spare, can he get it? He does! Six mark of the string, 140 and a ball through nine, wow! Winchell to answer, he missed it. The door is open still for PC Enterprises. Actually, this is interesting. Winchell is every mark that Matt doesn't. Frames one through four, Harnett. Frames, frames five through seven, Winchell. Frames eight and nine, Harnett. And John with the Paul Grant special missed the second, make the third. Never a good time for that. Never. One, 10 through nine. <laughs> Could have been like a 115 bola probably if I did that. Uh, made, made him the second shot. So there's the situation. Fifth, Team minus a hard ass. He's going to need another mark. He's on a spare. 140 in a ball in the ninth. Yep. Looking for a hammer. He did give you a try. Seven. Wait for that sleeper pin and back. The eight. Two five in front. 147 through nine. The lead is eight. Winchell. A clipped wing eagle. Are you serious? Spread eagle minus a corner pin. Three six right. Two four seven left. Harnett has the advantage. Needs to mark. They have a chance. Back then makes it tricky. For a spare, no, what a try. And Harry's All-Stars down big, comes back to hold on for the victory and gets two points. It's the second time PC suffered a heartbreaker and they've bowled well on our cameras every single time. A Merritt Harnett put his team in his back, a 10 box for a 157 and it's not enough. 10, 157 in a losing cause. Give it up for Matt Harnett. One of the best bowlers in Canada. Love to see him and Calvin Lock in a money match. John Winchell in eight, 118. The final score, Harry's All-Stars 571. PC Enterprises 565, a six pin win, an instant classic on Camelot and Bowling Network. Greg. 15 marks for Harry's All-Stars. Uh, if you double count Harnett's double strike, that's 14 marks. Pinning was nine in favor of Harry's All-Stars. It was the pinning. And after a match where PC outpinned their opponent and they lost, now PC gets outpinned and loses. What a strange game this is sometimes, and it just gets weirder and weirder. We're going to sign up, come back for our next broadcast in a few minutes. New England flooring against Huff Power Sports on Kenneth Mowen Network. Thank you for watching this great game of Kenneth Bowling. Bye bye. See you soon. <laughs>